Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a quilt, how to make quilt sashing. Now in lesson one, I demonstrated a very easy basic style of quilt sashing. sashing. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate a different style that has just a few more steps. So let's take a look at the sashing on this particular block. In here I have a solid piece of fabric with pinks and greens and yellows and orange. It has a lot of colors in it. And then on the outside of it I have four strips of pink sashing and then in each corner I have a square. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do a table runner using this style of sashing and then later in the video I'll show you quickly how to do this style of sashing on a quilt. Really very easy. Now if you have a cell phone handy, uh, take a quick snapshot of this with your camera phone and because this will tell you what you need to cut out. Now I'm using five blocks that are eight and a half inches square. So I'm going to be cutting 16 pieces of fabric that are three and a half inches wide, that's this fabric here, by eight and a half inches long. Three and a half by eight and a half. Then I'm going to be cutting out 12 three and a half inch squares. So this is it. Now, as far as identifying the fabrics in, this, in these instructions, my A fabric are the little squares, the B fabric are the long strips, and the C is going to be my large block that's eight and a half inches. Always use a quarter of an inch and you're always going to press your seams towards the B. That's this white strip here. Always press towards there. Okay? Alright, so let's look at the block that I'm going to work with today. Alright, now here is a four patch that I've created and in these two blocks is another four patch. So if you happen to like this pattern, you want to learn how to make it, watch my video four patch pot holder. Okay, now you're going to take two strips of your sashing and you're going to take your blocks and on each block you're going to put one on the sides, on opposite sides of each other, okay? And you're going to do a quarter inch seam along here. Then you're going to press it on the wrong side and then open it up and press again. Now, remember when you're pressing, you want to press the seam towards this fabric here. So, keep it lifted slightly and then you're going to take your iron and push towards that seam and that will force it to go in that direction. Okay? Now this is not a hot iron. I never recommend you iron on your cutting board. This is just for demonstration purposes. So do that style of pressing on both sides so that the seams go out towards the sashing. Okay. Then do all five blocks like this. Then take one strip, that's the one that's three and a half by eight and a half. Take two squares, your three and a half inch squares, bring right sides together on this, line them up, okay? Line them up, and then you're going to pin and stitch them together so that it looks like this, okay? Here it is. These are already stitched together. Then when you're done, do your pressing again. Press on the wrong side and then press on the top. Again, hold this square up. Excuse me, you're going to hold the long strip portion up and then with your iron, push that seam towards this white strip so that when you're done, your seams are going in towards the center there, okay? You're going to make six of these strips, just like this. All right, then take your first block and take two of these strips 
and put them on each side or excuse me on two sides okay and you're going to let me pull this back just a little bit you're going to match these seams this seam right along with that one and you're going to do what i call locking it in there so that it's nice and snug and if it feels flat that means you've got it in there right if it feels lumpy and bumpy it's not in there correct so once you've got it lined up then you're going to pin it then go over here and line up your other one pin it down then pin all the way across stitch a quarter of an inch seam so do that on both these two strips okay then when you're done your block is going to look like this okay so you've got a row of sashing your block a row of sashing then you're going to take block two and you're going to attach it to that row of sashing so make sure let me turn this you're going to match your seams up pin them down and stitch across press on the wrong side and then press on the right side making sure that your seams go in towards this white strip right there okay keep continuing on down the table runner attaching all five blocks then when you get to the end you're gonna put one more strip of sashing on it so match up everything pin and stitch okay press it wrong side then right side making sure all your seams are going in the correct direction then when you're done you're going to take the table runner let me show you what it looks like when it's all done isn't this pretty now this is completely finished i've got the batting on it the backing i've done the quilting stitches and i've put on the binding so you can see how the sashing helps to highlight the blocks in your table runner or quilt now i'm going to quickly go over and show you how to do this on a quilt really easy now here is my square now i'm working with a six and a half inch square again you can use a solid piece of fabric or a nice little block that you've created i'm using yellow that's in the flowers here as my sashing and this is two and a half inches wide by six and a half inches and for the little squares in the corner i'm using the purple okay it's going to go up in the corner all right so let me show you how to do this really easy take a strip put it on each side just like we did in the first demo put it on each side pin and stitch it down quarter inch do your pressing then open it up and again press those seams towards the yellow sashing here okay then take your second block make sure you've got all your blocks lined up in the order that you want so you want to put all your rows together then take so i've got sashing block sashing then take block two lay it on top of the sashing pin and stitch a quarter of an inch press open it up and press again continue on down the row and always end with one more strip of sashing so you start with a piece of sashing and end with a piece of sashing then flip it over make sure your seams are going towards the sashing here it is it's going towards there in the middle and there it is out here on the sides okay then do all your rows like that then you're going to create this let me show you how to do it really easy you're going to take strips you're going to take your first strip lay it right side up take squares on each side wrong sides together pin and stitch them down do your pressing okay now on this again you're pressing towards the yellow sashing 
Then when you've got that done, their first one done, then you want to take your second piece of sashing, attach it to this square, pin and stitch it down quarter inch. Continue on down the strip, okay? And always end with a square. So you start with a square and you end with a square. Make sure all of your seams are pressing towards the yellow. Okay, now take your first row of blocks, okay, and you're going to take a piece of sashing strip, lay it on each side of that block. Here it is, on each side. Make sure you match your seams. Pin and stitch it down on both sides. Then open it up, okay? Do all of your pressing just like we did on the table runner. Nothing is different. So now this is what it's gonna look like. Then take your second row of blocks. Pin and stitch it to this row, okay? Then let me pull this up a little better so my cameraman can see it better. Okay, so I think you can kind of see what's going on. So now you have sashing, a row of blocks, sashing, a row of blocks. You keep continuing on down and when you get to the very last row, you want to put on one more strip of sashing, sew it on there, and then this is what you have. Okay, so it's not much harder on a quilt. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. Now, my next video will be machine applique lesson two. So to keep informed on all my future videos, you wanna click on subscribe. It's down there at the bottom of the screen. You click on that and then YouTube will prompt you for your email address. And the next time I have a new video, they send you an email. You click on the button inside that email and it takes you directly to my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing.